All right, so I'm uh, playing some Tour 9 on my Odd Odd account. I'm trying to get my Odd Odd account back up so that uh, Dunner and I can play. If, if he wants to play a, a Masters in like a nine hole cup and mess around, we can uh, get matched up with this account in any, any bracket. So where am I at? I'm at Expert 2 almost to the relegation zone so i need to work myself up see if i can get up there this week so here we go playing some tour nine have no chests i'm taking my number five or my number three bag I'm trying to learn i'm trying to get used to playing with my apocalypse all the time it's not quite i want if you get your Apocalypse to level 7, at that point, it does everything that an uh, extra mile can do and better. And so, it, your extra mile is now a thing of the past. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. If you think about it, pound for pound, people have played more with an extra mile than any other club. I mean, it is a badass, a badass club. Yeah, I've got it selected. It's seven five a ring set. I'm gonna leave the wind in. I'm gonna put all the all the wind back in. So ten divided by one point five, six point six six rings. There's six six. I'm gonna put the forward wind back in and just hit it perfect. Hit a one ring great to the right. And it blew me too far on the end. I thought it was going to be close down there because it carries. I swear that the wind down in these holes, it carries a lot. <laughs> that would be 6.66 and it seems like to start off with I was like three rings away from this from the rough area so I was like eight rings back because it was with overpower so that's five rings and then the three rings in front so that's eight and with no OP and just a straight up shot no additional on it it was uh, 6.66 rings and it moved it at least eight That'd be a 20% if it was eight. And it pushed me, I hit into the rough about a half a ring. Spitfire doesn't have a lot of backspin, but it has some and it is very, very effective backspin. Six three, where am I at in my club? There's Max, so I'm at Max. Six three. Three and a half rings is seven. At least the way I play it. 700 rings great to the left, AKA two. Recover. Gave myself a look at it. Not a good one, but it was a look. If I'd have hit that great to the right, it might have went in. But my opponent, on the other hand, is not going to be able to get on into. So let's put the pressure on them. And they're using a special ball out here. I am not a fan of, hey, they're your balls, you paid for them, but why, wouldn't you really like to use those in a tournament? I mean, I know, hey, I will, if you're playing an upper tour and you're looking for chess and doing whatever, but like just a waste of a ball. I mean, perfect in the hole. All right, all right, birdie. 
Let's check my opponent out. Are we going to get to see him? Maybe. 3,493 games. 800 and, so take uh, 856 million. What is that? 856 million. Divided by what? Like, was that around 1,500? That means their average win is 570,000 every time they've won. So they're playing somewhere between tour eight and nine. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's see if they want to replay. Gold chest right off that bat. Right off the bat. Let's get that sucker rolling. Rolling through the chest. You gotta, hey, I mean, it's the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about the, but the whole deal of, yes, you can play a lot and not open up a lot of chests because if you're waiting for the chest to open, you gotta have gems to speed through them if you really wanna roll it out. And it doesn't take a lot. You can play quite a bit and roll through chests if the only thing you're spending coins on is marlins and even even here if you're doing the non-consolation don't qualify the first day and get the what 45 katanas and then all the time i've played this game i never really paid attention to it i i i but somebody did point out to me not too long ago that uh, katanas cost the same amount the titans do. The king of balls. It's hard to believe, but it's true. I think I'd rather be down in this corner down here. Roll it down that direction. 7-5 is a ring set. So there's 7-5. Eight and nine. If I add it on ten percent, I'm gonna cheat just a little. I'll do like half. In that situation, I'd rather have it blow me to the left because I got a lot of room on the left than to over pull it onto the right. And so, if it blows me out a little bit farther into the fairway because I didn't take out enough, it's not that big of a deal. I was trying to get into that corner because I really don't want to have to use this face. I want to come at it over here where it's a little shallower. Come at it on this angle. We'll see what the deal is. We'll see what we can get done here. I have no idea what adjustments to make. Other than uh, just a straight up wind adjustment. It's definitely uphill. There's Max. There's Man. There's Mid. Six point one divided by one point one. If I did a straight up, it'd be five five four. There's five five. Oh fucking! And I hit it. And it hit the flagpole, so I hit it great to the left. And it hit the flagpole, so that means I overpulled it. So it is uphill, and we should be taking some wind off. If I took off 10%, 0 0.9 times, it would have been five rings instead of five, five. Is that right? Yeah, it would have been five rings instead of five, five, and that would have been about right on a perfect. And it did look like it was uphill. I gotta remind myself of this stuff. If I say it out loud, then you're reinforcing it so you can remember it. So if you're playing a tour and you're trying to get used to hitting some of the holes, because I have a, a lot of these holes I haven't played other than in tournaments. So I don't really know how to play them in one-on-one. -on -one. Like what's the best way to go out? What's the best angle? It's not just about getting down there along 
a lot. It's about getting to the right, at the right angle to the cup. 0.1 times 11.7 divided by 12.87. White ring off. Two backspin. There's five, six, seven. There's twelve. I'm gonna cheat just a little. And it's a big pull. Hitting it perfect. Now I can start working on my trajectory, even if I'd hit, uh, if I hadn't cheated, I still would have been off. I did a 10% on that, but I probably should have done a 20. It was, I, w I didn't want to over pull it too much into that rough. I tried to cheat as much as I could and pull it as far to the left and use side spin to bring it around so that it gave me as much distance as possible. It's not bad when you pull, when you're doing a big pull and you're two or three rings into the rough. But when you're doing a 12.87 pull and you're like six or seven rings into the rough, if you over pulled it, <laughs> it's one of the benefits of using clubs like a Goliath and good game, my man, good game. Bikers are out. Let's see if they want to replay. Let's play again, man. Let's. I should hit the let's play again. There we go. There we go. We got a player right here. We do. Luke from the Luke 07 plan clan. Ashley. There are several people in our clan that have accounts for their wives and they have their wives pictures on there and so you never know like are you playing some dude some dude named Russell <laughs> anybody here that's a Bloodhound Gang fan the song uh, a lap dance is so much better when the stripper is crying there's a spot in there where he meets a he meets this girl her name is Russell <laughs> and my nephew has a friend named Russell and I it's like Jenny, if you were a Forrest Gump fan. And he said Russell, and I started laughing, and I put him in on the joke. Played that song for him so he could get it. Now, with the original pin placement, there is a rough bump. If you get way over there, I'm going to try and get way over there and do the rough bump. I know it's plus 10%, so 1.1 times 5.8 divided by 1.5. 425 puts me a ring and a half into power hitting it perfect at a little perfecto I'm not sure this ball is enough to get me to the rough bump up there. Or is this the new pin placement? This is the new pin placement. So I actually hit myself out of the shot that my opponent has. There's a rough bump that you can do there. I might still have a, a run at it, but I have to pull over the sand and that sand is definitely, that sand you need to push up. Like if you get in the sand, it's one of those sands where even though it doesn't look like it's doing a lot, it when it rolls over that lip, you're like losing like a half a ring. And so when you get done with your pull, you need to push that half a ring back up in it. I used to play a lot with a guardian. I've played this hole quite a bit. And in the old pin placement, you can come up here with a guardian. You can start off on the green side and you can backspin it. And you can hit it with impunity. You can slice that sucker and it's still going to hit the green and backspin down and roll around where the cup's at. 
Got plenty of room. Five seven. I can work the wind out. Maybe. Five seven. I'm gonna just do a five seven. There's five seven. I'm gonna do a straight up pull so I can see what it does. And I hit a great to the left. And if I was gonna hit a great one way or the other, that was the better way. Recover. We're going to a shootout. So let's not get uh, too jiggy here. I think I could have got to the rough bump. I could have. In the hole. In the hole. The ball guide goes a little faster when you get it small like that. If you're hitting that club and it's out, it's pretty slow. But when you got it really tight like that, it seems like it goes really fast. <laughs> Which way's the wind blowing? Yes, ma'am. 1.1 times whatever the wind is. I think it's just, I think I'm, I might be, I don't know if I have enough room. I think I do. Where in the fuck are you going other than the sand? Did they start their first bounce off in the... Okay, okay. I got you. I understand now. It's all becoming clear. <laughs> There's Max Club. There's Man. Or Mid. That's yeah, about Mid Club. And I don't have enough to get me up there. So I'll have to do something similar to what my opponent did. Ten one. I have no fucking clue where that's gonna go. There's eleven one. Man, I don't want to have to take this shot. I thought I had enough room to do the rough bump that I wanted to do up there, but I don't. And I'm gonna roll off and be all the way down at the bottom. Woo! I think I lost. 10, 9, 8. I think we were both unprepared. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good game. Let's play again. I'm ready. Now, this is one of those people that you're actually trying to win, and they're trying to win, but wouldn't it be nice to come out here and find somebody like this that really just wants to sit down and play for a while, and they're like, hey, I got, I'm playing. I was having some fun. Hey, if I'm having more fun, then I might be more interested in playing longer. It was a lot better when you could replay for as many times as you wanted. I think it was a bigger issue as far as like people matching up and getting able to match up in one-on-one -on -one when there was less people playing. And so they changed it when there wasn't a lot of people playing the game, but now we've got tens of thousands of people that are playing the game. And so the odds of, of getting hooked up with your buddy and playing one-on-one -on -one and what, giving each other coins or going out there and actually going at it. Because I can't see Dunner and I going out there and like giving up the shit. We're going to be going at it. Like we may force a shootout just so that we get to the shootout. But we're going to be wanting to win some cheddar. <laughs> we're going to have to. We're, our only thing is we'll be pissed off because after a while you're not winning chess anymore. So there is a detriment to it. Twelve divided by one point five. Eight. 
rings. There's five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do an extra. Isn't it perfect? And I was leaning on purpose to the one to run along that. It's if you get out into the shadows and you're to the right of where I'm at, you hit it farther, but I'm not gonna be able to get any farther by getting into the shadows from that. It straightens out the shot to the cup so that I can ride more on the bottom. We'll see which, whether this is pin placement number one or pin placement number two. Put some pressure on my opponent. Maybe. All right. See if we can just get up there and get over to the other side and give ourselves a chip. I put a little bit too much backspin on. Every time I've come to this, I've had headwind like this on that second shot, and I've put too much backspin on it and ended up. The first time I came, I didn't. I ran topspin on it, and I ended up back in the rough behind the cup. And then ever since then, I've been tentative. <laughs> This would be a hole when you get on it that you switch through the bag that's got a big dog because a big dog could cover that no problem and that headwind. Number one, it gives you eight yards more of raw distance and it has more topspin. So you might be able to topspin it up and pull it back a little bit from the wind and not even do overpower. hitting it perfect we'll see it's hard to tell if it's going to break right into the cup Woo! eagle that's what i'm talking about right there good game good luck unfortunately we can't play anymore so I would love to keep playing Ashley, and Ashley might like to keep playing me. But no, we can't have fun. <laughs> we gotta go have fun with somebody else. Got my windows working. Good. We'll see if they keep working. <laughs> they'll work for now they'll work for now they're working right now that's all that matters let's clear that off just in case Mwah. baby I'm not sure no I did I played the Maybe. no no In my personal vehicle, the buttons for the windows weren't working, and so the way that it normally works in cars, if you're not aware, most of you probably are, the driver's side is the control, is the master switch. And that's 
right at the red line too. Jeez. I want to know if there's a better way to play this. Like, can you get up from over here? If I just hit it down here? What does that look like? I put three topspin on it. Seven, eight. It's a ring set, and I'm going to do a half a ring. Just lay it out. I want to see what it looks like from out there. What it looks like with this, uh, that first shot is really risky, and you can end up you can end up in the shed. You can end up down at the bottom and have a rough iron out of the, you'll end up down there in the, well, you could be in the bunker, but you can also end up in the drink. If there's a shot that I can end up in the drink, I'd rather that be the money shot. And it seems like this green has a backboard on it. So if we can get to the right spot, we, we do have a backboard. This might be a hole that you bring out a, a certain bag for, so it's got a guardian in it. And so the second shot you're taking with a guardian. Big Dog's got quite a bit of backspin as well. Let's see if my opponent gets to the island. So far, so good. Boom, in the bunker. That's a hard place to recover with a one power ball. And there ain't no getting up. So they got a free shot. So there ain't no getting up there. Isn't that perfect? Lay it up. So I guess your choices are make that shot or relegate yourself to getting on in three. <laughs> it's no bueno. No bueno. Hey, they got up there. Nice. Nice. Nine ranks. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Isn't it perfect? El Prefecto. Quite enough. Not quite enough. I was on the move while I was playing, so I should I did that all with one hand. <laughs> And a stylus on an uneven surface. Good game. All right, we do not want to go that way. Kaiser Reserve. I remember. I do not remember that this hole at all from that picture. This hole does not, I don't remember it at all. But as soon as I see that right there, I remember the hole that we're on. <laughs> Those pictures do not do justice to what it looks like when you're out here. 
I was so happy when uh, Golf Clash Notebook posted, came up, and had full size photos. And there is. There is a max overpower hook shot here, and with a katana and this wind, it is possible to let that wind push you up there and do it, but I think they need to be farther out if they're trying the hook. That was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. No, that was a nice shot. I should have paid more attention to what they were doing. But they used the wind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to shoot from over here because we do have a great shot from over here. Eleven divided by one point five. Seven three three five six seven three three. Perfect. Oh, and then I hit myself into the rough. I suppose I should have put some curl on it. I, was, I wasn't paying attention when I set the shot up and I thought I had no curl. So I, wasn't, I wasn't exactly sure, so I was rubbing. <laughs> All right, I'm fully capable of making this shot. Fully capable. They hit that perfect, that's going in. It's going in the hole. Nice, nice shot. Nice. All right, I get to do the same thing. There's Max, there's Max, there's Mid. I'm at the three quarter mark, 4.5. Two point two five rings. I'm going to do two three five. Two three five exactly. Ah! Oh. oh, I would have loved to have seen that perfect. It's hard to tell if it would have been short because it's coming in at a different angle on the perfect. It hits in the rough different. It, it, all of those are not rough, but it's different on all of those bounces, so you don't know. It did look like it was gonna be short, but I would have loved to have seen that perfect. Uh, uh. Dag nabbit. I played a little bit of that checkpoint challenge, but I don't know. What would be helpful is not just showing you your bag, but the only number that we really care about there, not everybody uses the app, is if they would give you the, just the accuracy. Well, I don't need all of it. Eleven point two divided by one point five. It's like seven and a half rings. There's five, six, seven and a half. Max curl. Seven hundred rings, great.
and throw it up there. I was trying to find the spot back there where you could see there was rough. This is the rough. And my second bounce was in the rough out here and trying to think of with all the curl, like what angle I was going to come at so that I could skirt this tip right here. You obviously want to get into this area so there's a spot here where you're you can try and run up that as much as possible I don't think there's any getting on in one no dice this is another great spot for a rough bump but I don't have enough oomph yeah, I do. Man, 11-3. Where am I at my club? There's Max. There's Min. There's Mid. My Mid club, which is 1.1. I'm just going to do 11-3. And I'm going to add on a ring. There's five, there's ten. Eleven three. Hitting it perfect. Needed a little more oomph. I have to go back and rewind that. I probably needed to pull more and I probably didn't pull enough. I was jinking around with it. This is why it's important to have a grid. <laughs> Let's turn that bad boy on. Turn on the test pattern. Much better. And yes, I could have some other lines up here in this grid, but I found that you start you get too much on the screen it's hard to focus on it's impairing your shot I changed the colors as well so like the green the center line blends in a lot and it, it blends in enough that when you're taking your shot it's not when I had it black tried a bright color tried several different colors but it blends in with the course enough Still trying to get used to the all the colored lines down at the bottom. If I was a real, if I was taking really good notes on a lot of these shots, you could write it out outside of ball to the red line. Red line left. It's a draw. I was having problems with my truck window switch i couldn't roll the windows up and down and of course on the freaking electric windows you can't if the old cranks it was pretty easy <laughs> eight man that is seven and a half is a ring set or seven and a half and let's see where it makes the jump right before it makes that jump and I hit it one ring great to the left and I was leaning to the left I must want it to go left it felt like it needed to go left a little hot maybe one more backspin I was on like three backspin maybe four would be better Can roll it down there there's probably a, usually I have found that if you're looking for a really good funnel coming way away from the hole and running your topspin out where you can wag your tail and see where you're finding the spot where you're moving it up at the top you're moving your ring set but the tail is not moving 
and you can find a spot where you, if you can get your speed right you can be right on top of the cup on a great to the left to the right or whatever winner winner chicken dinner damn it getting my ass handed to me let's see if they'll replay when I replay people that are good if they're good enough to beat me once they're good enough to play me again <laughs> bastards shit how many games have I played and I've only won one I think the first one I won I haven't won since then maybe a half I just haven't been paying attention I've been opening chests I've probably been opening chests just in case somebody wants to replay and I am on a winning streak which I'm not on right now for sure That shot that I took in there. Was a decent shot. Seven, five, nine. Shit, I'm gonna have to do max overpower. I have no idea where it's going to go. But I felt like it was going to go in the rough. And it did. Let's see if I can hit this shot perfect this time. This shot's a little bit farther back, but let's see if I can hit it perfect. I was on the other side of the fairway last time. So I was in three-quarter club, so now I should probably be in max. Dunner just texted me. He's got. I haven't uh, practiced pro. Let's get in. Let's get in. Uh, how much time we got on this? Forty-two minutes. Of me getting my ass kicked. We get into Discord as soon as we get out of this game. Let's see if he wants to do a practice with pro. We did a rookie practice the other day, and I got, I screwed mine up. There's Max, and I'm still in the three quarter. All right, it is 10.4 divided by two, it's 5.2 rings. There's five, two. Oh, fuck. That was way, I can't believe that wasn't good. Can't believe that wasn't good. That was way great. <laughs> There's a rep bump you can do on this side as well. It's a G string right there, but there is a rough bump you can do. You can come at it. I think from up there you're more in this coming at it. And I, it might take a. You might be able to do it with a grizzly. You could definitely do it with a Goliath. And that's hitting over to the other side and laying it up and bringing out a big ball bringing out the ball that's appropriate for where you want so you'll have to you might be able to just do it with a katana obviously my opponent was pretty damn close I didn't see if they pulled on their red line you might be able to just do it with the two power ball one power ball I'm not playing this hole very, very smartly. To keep ending up in the rough, that's a wide open fairway over there, and I've ended up in the rough the last two times I played it, so I'm gonna have to uh, 
open my eyes and actually play this while I'm quit fucking around. Perfect. Go into a shootout. You need to be smarter on these shootouts too. I've been playing them like I don't know them, which is partially true, but now I know them, so I should be playing them smarter. See that sticky spot where I'm moving it and it's wagging the tail the wrong direction? 9.7 divided by 1.1 is 11 rings. There's 10. There's 11. Oh, and I knew I let it go. I was just watching that. I glanced up at the clock. You can roll off the back. You need a little teeny bit more backspin, but I want to get up close where I'm backspinning and not running it up. If you run it up, several things can happen. If you don't get up enough, it'll roll back down and it will roll. You'll lose a lot of distance or it can, if you, it can catch the slide on that hill. And if it gets on the backside, it'll roll into the rough. So putting on max backspin and getting up there into the, into the in between of these shadows and I did a 25% adjustment on that. Probably needed to be a little bit higher. Maybe like 30. And they hit it, they hit it as far to the left as I hit it to the right, so. Good game, good game. See if that replay. I won't hit it so that I can see. I'll pause for a second and see if I can get a hold of Dunner. I got a gold chest out of it though. That's good. That's good. Come on, Grateful. Grateful Dead. I'm waiting. You're the. I beat you, man. You gotta. You gotta hit the replay. You gotta wanna replay me. I'm still here. I'm waiting. This is the sportsmanship thing. Come on, man. It's not my job to ask the second place guy if he wants to play. <laughs> Hello. I'll go into Discord without you. You can see all of this, all of the stuff that I have. Nobody's in. Nobody's on. No dice. All right. How much time do I got? I got time to play one more? I do. I got time to play one more. They don't want to replay me. Or they turned their device off and I'm sitting there forever. Waterfield Sands. These holes like here I really don't have a lot of time and grade on these holes other than in tournaments because in a tournament play this hole different instead of playing all the way down to the end over here I play to the seven nine
times five, six, seven, eight. That puts me a little into power. Hit a one ring great to the left, which is the worst side to hit a great to. With that kind of wind, if you're not pulling it enough, it's going to push you to the left. But usually when the wind's blowing like that, it's you're not under pulling it. Or, excuse me, over pulling it where you get into the rough over on the... I don't like hitting it the direction the wind's blowing. <laughs> That's why when you're going into a cup and I go, well, if you're going to hit it, great. It's better to hit it on that side. It's always on the side, though. It's always on the side that the wind's on. And maybe the wind will push it over. I didn't do a proper adjustment. There's Max. I do have a rough bump here. Man, with that wind... You really want to know what the adjustment is. Max Club, do I have enough room to work out the wind? That's the deal. Eight rings. There's five, six, seven, eight. One ring grate to the right. The one ring grate didn't kill me. I over I put too much power on it. And look at how big the freaking fairway is behind it and I still over hit it you should do exactly what my opponent's doing is you should get out there on that deal and not fight against the rough you could start off you could start off on the left hand side of where the this fairway rolls down like this and you start off over here and your ball guide's going over and you use side spin and you've got shit tons of curl just to get up on the green so you can get your birdie or eagle or whatever it is you're going for and go to the shootout what you're looking for is your opponent to fuck up on their drive and end up where you know they're short <laughs> But no, I gotta go for it on a rough bump against a headland and <laughs> put myself in a in a box. Nine point nine divided by sixteen point six one of a ring. Point six one. Where does that put me? All right. Perfect would have been right there. <laughs> I was hoping that it would break a little. This is me losing on stupid things where it's me beating myself. It's one thing when you go to a shootout and you lose a shootout, your opponent just outshot you, but when you go out and actually beat yourself and you're playing, instead of like playing one on one right there, I was like playing for the cup, like dicking around. <laughs> I can dick around in my 77 account, but in this account, I don't have enough of a bankroll. In my 77 account, everything I have I've gotten from Tour 7 and below, and I have a good bankroll, I can play there with impunity, but here at a million a hole, I only have 27 games to lose. You can't go out and lose. You know, you, you don't want to go out. This is why I think it would be so important for them to show us what our last 100 games are, what our, what our stats are, like how are we doing right now? Like we moved up a tour and we're getting our asses handed to us and we're only at 50% in the last 100. All right. I'm going to get a hold of Dunner and see if he wants to practice with this account. And I will uh, get back with you on the next one. Thanks for watching. There was some Tour 9. That was me getting my ass handed to me. I'm not sure how many I won, but I I, I think I'm two down. That's, uh, that's not good. 
I will catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, have fun.